So what is STAMP? Well, STAMP originates from Professor Nancy Leveson from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in the United States, and she describes and discusses it in her book, Engineering a Safer World. So what does STAMP stand for? Well, STAMP is an acronym for Systems Theoretic Accident Model and Processors, and that signifies a, a basis, a foundation, an accident causality model, and some analysis and design processes based upon that model. So the stamp view of accident causality then. So in the stamp view of the world, accidents involve complex dynamic processes, and it defines safety as a dynamic control problem, and it includes both direct and indirect causality. So the traditional view versus stamp. So in the traditional view, accidents are chains of directly related events, and it defines safety as a management of failures problem, and it only covers causality, direct causality. So in principle, if you manage failures and reduce the likelihood of failures, then you should be safe. And that's not strictly the case. And that's where STAMP builds on and expands the focus of safety assessment and safety management. Okay, so to sum up, so accidents are caused by inadequate control. A system is considered to be a control system and that control system enforces safety constraints. The control system consists of control feedback loops organized in a hierarchy. So it's the control system that enforces those safety constraints and prevents accidents. Okay, so what is a control feedback loop? Well, a control feedback loop is represented here. You have a control process at the bottom. You have a controller in charge of that process. And that controller interacts with the control process through some actuators, some way of providing action, and, and receives sensory feedback via some sensors. And the controller itself consists of a model of the control process, so a representation of the how that control process behaves and its states. Um, and then the controller has a control algorithm which defines the behavior that that controller has and how it interacts with the control process. So what is a stamp-based safety assessment or what is a stamp-based assessment? Okay, well a stamp-based assessment is essentially uh, the application of the processes which are based on the stamp accident causality model. And they're a flavor of analysis and design processes. Currently there are four four model-based analysis processes. There is STPA, which is Systems Theoretic Process Analysis, which is a hazard analysis. Uh, CAST, which is Causal Analysis Based on STAMP, which is an accident event analysis. And then STPA-SEC, which is a, a security, a cyber security focused version of STPA. And then STECA, which stands for Systems Theoretic Early Concept Analysis, which is a safety guided design and hazard identification method. So where do they fit in the system life cycle? Well, they fit everywhere and anywhere. They're very adaptable. They can be applied, uh, you know, any time in the life cycle, anywhere. They provide maximum flexibility, maximum value, and also maximum competitive advantage. So contrasting to traditional safety analysis methods, you can see that the stamp-based processes can be applied earlier in the life cycle and provide much more benefit in terms of identifying safety issues earlier and then helping for them to be resolved at lower cost and lower safety risk. So what makes stamp-based processes so powerful? Well, apart from the systems theory and systems thinking foundation, the stamp-based processes all have a common core, and that common core I like to refer to as a three-course meal. So you've got the starter, which is the creation of the hierarchical control structure, so some system modeling. And then the main course, which is analyzing that model and identifying unsafe control actions which need to be managed. And then the dessert, so this is identifying the causal scenarios that lead to those unsafe control actions. And then, of course, the cast accident analysis method. So that has an extra step, an extra part, which I call the side order to accompany the starter. Now, this is essentially the creation of a timeline or sequence of events, but this is not specific to stamp-based assessments. This would be done as part of normal activity, as part of a normal accident investigation process. 